So what is showing? Well, now I'm going to show you some examples. Using those same examples we had earlier, um, it was winter. A way of writing that in a more showing way would be the bitter December wind bit through his coat. Notice now how um, it's giving us, in fact, even more information than previously. Now we know it's not just winter, it's December, there's a bitter wind, and it's actually bringing, instead of just being a bland sentence, it was winter, we're actually bringing the character into this. We can now picture him, you know, when he's pulling his coat around him as he hurries through the bitter wind. He was tall. Could be written, for example, as she looked up to see his face. Well, now the reader is having to deduce that if she's looking up, well, he must be taller than her. Unless, of course, we're we have a character who's seated or something. But these are the kind of clues that um, make the reader have to think a little bit. It just pushes them that little bit. He was angry. Instead, you could write that as he slammed his briefcase on the table. Again, this is where all of us are used to decoding the signals we get from people all day long. So we can quite easily decode that when, if he slammed his briefcase on the table, that must mean he's angry. She was cold. She shivered and pulled her jacket tighter. Again, we now have action and we, we're deducing, well, why would you shiver? Well, there could be a number of reasons. She could be afraid. She could be cold, but the fact that she's pulling her jacket tighter, the fact that she's wearing a jacket, these are all little clues that tell the reader she was cold, but in a much more interactive way. He felt tired, could be written as he rubbed his eyes wearily. Again, now the reader is having to decode. If you were in, in a normal everyday situation watching somebody rubbing their eyes and they looked a bit tired, you're going to deduce that they are tired. She felt embarrassed. She averted her face to hide her blush.